Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we're discussing the Old Age Security Pension OAS, which is vital for Canadian seniors and retirees. This detailed guide will explain OAS eligibility, payment amounts, and how you can receive up to $1,600 in your bank account each quarter. Related benefits, application processes, and retirement income maximization recommendations will also be covered. The information in this video can help you understand Canada's pension system, whether you're receiving OAs, approaching eligibility, or planning for retirement. Grab a pen, relax, and let's learn about one of Canada's Retirement Income System's foundations. Beginning with the basics, most Canadians 65 and older receive a monthly old age security income. Canada's Retirement Income Scheme has three primary components. Conjunction with CPP, Private Savings and Employer Pensions. OAS is a basic right for eligible Canadian seniors and is funded by general tax resources, unlike the CPP, which is based on work history and contributions, it's meant to secure retirement finances regardless of career experience. The 1927 Old Age Pensions Act was replaced by the 1952 OAS program. It has improved to serve Canada's elderly population. Employment and Social Development Canada manages it through Service Canada. It's vital to distinguish OAS from GIs, which we'll address later in this video. While most seniors can get OAS, GIs is for low-income seniors. OAS's recovery tax, called the OAS clawback, is unique. If your income exceeds a specific threshold, you may have to reimburse OAAs. This will be explained later in the video. Understanding OAS is essential for Canadian retirement planning. It delivers predictable inflation-adjusted income for retirement. For the old age security pension, you must meet many requirements, detailing them. The OAS eligibility age is 65. However, you can delay your OAS pension for 60 months, five years after 65, for a greater monthly amount. This method will be discussed later in the video. You must be a Canadian citizen or legal resident when your OS application is granted. You must have been a Canadian citizen or legal resident before leaving Canada. The residency requirements are complicated. You must have lived in Canada for at least 10 years since turning 18 to apply for OS. If you're 65 to 74, you must have lived in Canada for 20 years since 18. Seniors 75 and older must have lived in Canada for 30 years since 18. OS applicants living outside Canada must have been a Canadian citizen or legal resident on the day before they departed Canada and have lived in Canada for at least 20 years since turning 18. Many nations have social security agreements with Canada. If you lived or worked in one of these countries, you may count it toward your OAS residence requirement. Immigrants and Canadians who worked overseas may benefit from this. Unlike the Canada Pension Plan, OAS eligibility and amounts are not based on employment history or earnings. Your current income can affect your OAS amount due to the OAS recovery tax, which we'll address later. In many circumstances, OAS enrollment is automatic. If you qualify for automatic enrollment, Service Canada will send you a letter the month after you turn 64. Unless you receive this letter, you'll need to apply for OAS, which we'll explain later in this video. To get OAS benefits, you must understand these eligibility criteria. After covering eligibility, let's look at numbers. What can you anticipate from OAAs and how is it calculated? In July-September 2024, the maximum monthly OAS benefit is $1,600. If you qualify for the whole amount, you might receive $1,600 every month paid directly into your account. Note that not everyone obtains the maximum. Your payout depends on how long you've resided in Canada after 18. You must live in Canada for 40 years after 18 to earn the full OAS pension. You'll get a half payout if you've lived in Canada less. The computation is simple 1 40th of the full OAS pension for each year in Canada after 18. If you've lived in Canada for 30 years after 18, you'll get 3,040 TAs, or 75% of the OAS pension. You can delay your OAS pension start date. For every month you delay OAS after 65, up to 60 months, your monthly payment rises 0.6%. This is 7.2% each year, or 36% if deferred for five years. Base. Deferring OAS for three years gives you 21.6% more than 7.2% x three years. Some seniors, especially those who work or have other money, may benefit from this technique. OAS recovery tax or clawback may apply to high income seniors in 2024. You must repay 15% of your net world income exceeding $1,600. 
If the barrier is $79,845 and your income is $89,845, dollars or $10,000 over the threshold, you must refund 15% of $10,000 or $1,500 if your income is high $100. If your income is high, you may have to repay all OS. Income reaches about dollar current upper limit in 2024. OIS payments may be increased in January, April, July, and October to reflect consumer price index rises. This preserves OA's benefits purchasing power. If you live in a nation with which Canada has a social security agreement, your partial OS pension may be enhanced. The amount of increase depends on agreement with that country. Understanding these numbers might help you plan for retirement and decide when to start OS. Many Canadians are automatically enrolled in OS, but some must apply. Let's walk through the application. Please specify who is automatically enrolled. You may be automatically registered for OIS if you're 64, live in Canada, and have participated in the Canada Pension Plan or Quebec Pension Plan, or Quebec Pension Plan. If you qualify for automatic enrollment, Service Canada will send you a letter the month after you turn 64. Apply if you don't receive this letter. Apply up to 11 months before your OS pension begins. Most people can apply one month after their 64th birthday. Two basic ways to apply for OAs are online and paper. To apply online, then visit the Service Canada website, sign into My Service Canada, and register for an MSCA if you don't have one. After signing in, select OAs, complete out the online application, and submit. Download and print the application form from the Service Canada website. Fill it out, gather any necessary supporting documents, and ship it to the nearest Service Canada office. Whether applying online or by paper, you'll need your social insurance number, banking information for direct deposit, marital status, the date you want your pension to start, your Canadian residence history, and any time spent living or working abroad. After receiving your application, Service Canada processes it in 12 weeks. Contact you if they require further info. After processing, you'll receive a letter with your approval or denial status. The letter will tell you when and how much to expect payments if authorized. If you're unsure if you should apply or have questions about the process, contact Service Canada. To avoid OAS payment disruptions, update your direct deposit details. Direct deposit offers speedier access to money, no chance of lost or stolen checks, and no bank visit. Payments continue during postal service disruptions. OAS provides retirement income, but participants may qualify for other benefits. Explore these extra benefits. The Guaranteed Income Supplement GIs is a monthly non-taxable benefit for low-income OAS pensioners in Canada. Your OAS pension and annual income or joint income, if married or in a common law partnership, must be below the maximum annual threshold. Marital status and income determine your payment. G's payments peak out at $1,600 per month in 2024. The allowance and survivor allowance are for low-income 60-64 year olds whose spouse or common law partner receives OAS and GIs. Individuals 60 to 64 whose spouse or common law partner receives OAs and GS receive the allowance. Meant to acknowledge the challenges couples living on one retirement income confront. Widows aged 60 to 64 who have not remarried or entered into a common law partnership receive economic support from the survivor allowance. Your allowance and survivor allowance depend on your income. Many provinces and territories give OA seniors extra benefits. Supplemental health benefits, property tax credits, utility credits, and prescription drug coverage are examples. These benefits differ by province or territory, so check with your local government for details. Service Canada will often automatically examine your GI's allowance or survivor allowance eligibility when you apply for OAAs. Always check to make sure you're getting all your perks. Remember, these advantages can boost your OAS pension, especially for low-income seniors. After covering the basics of OAS and supplementary benefits, let's discuss ways to maximize your benefits. Consider delaying OAS first. As mentioned, you can postpone OAS for five years after 65. Delaying payments increases your monthly payment by 0.6% every month up to 36% at 70. This can be an excellent option if you're still working and don't need the income immediately, wish to reduce the OAS recovery tax, or are healthy and intend to live long. Manage your income second. If your income is close to the OAS recovery tax threshold, consider maximizing TFSA contributions, timing RRSP withdrawals, or dividing pension income with your spouse. Schedule your retirement carefully. Think about how your retirement date will affect your OAS benefits. Part-time work or retirement may help you manage income and OAS benefits. No international agreements. If you lived or worked abroad, see if Canada has a social security agreement. 
These agreements can boost your OAS eligibility or benefit. Keep up with OAS rule and amount changes to maximize your benefits. Coordinate your OS approach with your spouse or common law partner. One partner may defer OS while the other believes it may be advantageous. Apply for the guaranteed income bonus if you earn little. It can greatly increase retirement income. Check for additional provincial or territorial advantages and apply. Talk to a financial advisor or retirement planner. They can help you plan for OAAs and other retirement income sources. The ideal way to maximize OAS benefits depends on your financial status, health, and retirement plans. Finally, Canadian seniors and retirees must grasp the old age security pension. But the essentials of OS eligibility, payment calculations, and application processes have been discussed. Extra benefits and ways to enhance them. OAS is only one aspect of a retirement plan, but it can provide a solid basis for retirement income. Keep up with OAS program changes, investigate your benefits, and seek professional guidance if needed. We hope this detailed information has helped you understand Canada's OAS system. If this video was helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more Canadian retirement and financial planning content.